Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from the Searchlight Recipe Book of 1937, we're going to be revisiting the peanut butter sandwich. Now, you might recall not too long ago I did the peanut butter sandwich and I asked you uh, to weigh in and let me know what you would plus it up with. And then I was going to take the top four that I saw uh, and try them out. Well, here's the deal. I'm not going to take the top four. I'm going to take the top 10. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to do 10 different plus ups. Now, I'm not going to do 10 sandwiches. I'm not going to do 10 half sandwiches. They're going to be 10 little bites uh, of the sandwich so that it adds up to about a sandwich. I don't want to eat way too much. Now, be warned, two of the plus ups are meat. Uh, I know normally I don't like to add meat to a vegetarian sandwich because it kind of steals focus. It becomes like, say, like a chicken and whatever sandwich as opposed to the whatever sandwich. Um, but I wanted to try these two plus ups just to kind of try them out. All right, let's get cracking. All right, first let's make our base. Peanut butter, celery, green bell pepper, raisins. Now a pinch of salt, a couple of drops of Tabasco, and of course, mayonnaise to moisten. Get that mixed up. Now we need to butter our bread. Now we put our filling onto our bread. We cut this into uh, thirds, roughly. And thirds again. First up, Cajun seasoning. Next up, curry powder. Chinese five spice, hot honey, Sriracha and basil, and I know you said Thai basil, but I couldn't find any at the stores close by my house, so it's gonna have to do. Sharp cheddar cheese, sliced banana, Granny Smith apple, for our two meat plus ups, shredded chicken, and bacon. Okay, first up, let's give this peanut butter sandwich plussed up with banana. A go. The banana's working pretty well with the peanut butter and the celery. The bell pepper's a little interesting, but it's not bad. It's actually not bad. It's gotta cleanse the palate. Next up, let's give the peanut butter sandwich plussed up with sharp cheddar cheese. A go. That does work. Kind of like um, those peanut butter cheese crackers that don't really taste like actual cheese, but that flavor combination of cheese and peanut butter really does work. You know, it works with the celery and the cheese works with the bell peppers. That's pretty good. Let's give this peanut butter sandwich plussed up with Chinese pie spice. A go. That works really well. Warm spices, the star anise, cinnamon, it just works with everything in there, sweet and savory. Mm. All right, peanut butter sandwich plussed up with uh, curry powder. Let's give it a go. Lots of warm spices in there. Really working well with both the sweet and the savory elements, the peanut butter, the mayonnaise, the, the Tabasco, celery. It just, it works with everything in there. Ooh wee, let's give this peanut butter sandwich plussed up with Cajun seasoning blend a go. Again, works really well. Works with both the sweet and the savory elements. Now it's got a little kick of heat. Nice. Okay, let's give the peanut butter sandwich plussed up with the Granny Smith apple. Go. One of my favorite ways to eat Granny Smith apples growing up was with a little salt. So for me, that's working with the celery and the bell pepper just as well as it's working with the peanut butter, which is another favorite way to have it. <laughs> All right, next up, the peanut butter sandwich plussed up with Mike's hot honey. Sweet, spicy, and goes up with everything in this sandwich. That is tasty. Okay, let's give this peanut butter sandwich plussed up with basil and sriracha. A go. Sweet heat from the sriracha, nice herbaceousness from the basil, and then the peanut butter, and kind of like a peanut sauce in uh, Southeast Asian cuisines. That is good. And our penultimate plus up, let's give this peanut butter sandwich plussed up with shredded chicken. A go. I can see that working, but it is making it more of a chicken sandwich that has peanut butter and other stuff in it as opposed to just a peanut butter sandwich with chicken added. So to me, this is part of the problem with adding meat to a vegetarian sandwich. It kind of steals focus. It's tasty, but... And last but not least, peanut butter sandwich plussed up with bacon. Uh, that doesn't work at all. Ha, huh, just kidding. Of course it works. It's bacon. <laughs> bacon can pretty much plus up any sandwich, which is why I don't use it too often. But this actually is a good application of it. And it doesn't overpower the peanut butter. They're actually on equal footing here. So unlike the chicken, where it started to feel like a chicken sandwich with peanut butter, this feels like the bacon is part of the peanut butter sandwich. All right, so the original peanut butter sandwich, as you might recall, got a five rating from me. And uh, that is unchanged. I feel the same way about it. It's just kind of there. It's not great, but it's not bad. Eh. So we're going to go from lowest rated plus up to highest rated plus up. And for me, the lowest rated one is probably going to be the banana. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great. Uh, did it work? Yes. Did I love it? Eh, five and a half. Plussed up with the sharp cheddar cheese. That was pretty good. I think that might be about a six. Yeah, six, six and a half. Plussed up with the Granny Smith apple, got it to about a seven, maybe seven and a half. Plussed up with the sriracha and basil. That's easily a seven and a half, eight. Plussed up with Mike's hot honey, seven and a half, eight. 
um, plus up with the Chinese five spice curry powder or Cajun seasoning. That's like an eight, eight and a half. Those are delicious uh, little sandwiches and I would say try them. As for our uh, non-vegetarian options, I'm gonna give the chicken, I'm gonna give the chicken a four because it did start to overpower the peanut butter sandwich. So it's a little minus down there. Uh, the bacon is of course fantastic. I'm gonna give that an eight. So normally this is the part of the video where I say, I'm definitely gonna finish that, but I uh, definitely already did. So would I make these again? Well, I would definitely make the ones with the uh, Cajun seasoning blend, Chinese five spice and the curry powder. I uh, do it with a hot honey, the basil and sriracha for sure. Um, the cheese, yes. Granny Smith apple, you betcha. Uh, bacon, yes. I don't know about the chicken, uh, as far as this peanut butter sandwich, I would add that peanut butter to a chicken sandwich, that'd be kind of good. Uh, and then the banana didn't wow me enough to make me want to make it again. All right, Whew, a lot of fun. Thanks for waiting, I appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>